800,000 children missing in the United States each year. Pedophilia epidemic sweeping the globe. That's almost a million. That's a shocking amount. Back to Dimitri of Newspants reports. 800,000 children a year in the United States go missing, with many of them falling into the hands of predators who traffic the children through pedophilia networks, where the children suffer unimaginable horror such as satanic ritual abuse. This number is comprised of documented cases of children gone missing and does not include children who are born and bred into pedophilia networks who have no birth certificates. It also does not include undocumented immigrant children who are trafficked across the border. Rising Serpent tweets, CBP thermal imaging shows human smuggler dropping small children from border wall. Worldwide, the number is closer to 8 million children missing and being sexually trafficked, trafficked, trafficked by international pedophilia rings. Such is the scope of the epidemic that the International Tribu Tribunal for Natural Justice, that is ITN, convened over a three-day period in Westminster, London, to launch their Judicial Commission of Inquiry into Human Trafficking and ch Child Sex Abuse. Vaccine Impact reports the Judicial Commission is comprised of world leaders who have been involved in fighting child sex trafficking for years and includes intelligence of officers, politicians, legal scholars and many others. The International Tribunal was formed because most of the world's government bodies today have been corrupted and no longer represent the people but instead serve the interests of private corporations and as such Justice is seldom found in most government judicial courts around the world today to stop such a heinous crime as child sex trafficking. In fact, the child sex trafficking network today is actually facilitated by the rich and powerful whose influence reaches into the political and judiciary branches of society. The ITNJ initiative has arisen as a response to the disregard for the rule of law exhibited by alleged public officials corporate directors and world leaders who have deliberately privatized and weaponized the governments of the world against their own people. It is the culmination of years of endeavor and research on the part of many people from a diverse set of backgrounds dedicated to safeguarding a viable future for humankind. It's recognized that we the people must take responsibility in holding government to account when it violates basic human rights and natural law. Today we know conclusively that many of these activities are being facilitated by politically and financially powerful individuals, government and corporation organiza corporate organizations who perennially avoid being brought to account for their actions due to their affluence and influence, including in the court proceedings of the First Judicial Commission of the Tribunal were powerful testimonies from victims who suffered unimaginable horrors, children being sexually abused and trafficked through this powerful worldwide pedophilia network that sexually traffics children, a human trafficking network that brings in more revenue than the trafficking of weapons and drugs. During the opening plenary session, Chief Counsel Robert David Steele, a former CIA officer, gave perhaps the best summary of the purpose of Tribunal Just Judicial Commission, which has been condensed into a 15-minute video, which you can see embedded here and you can read part of that transcript. Uh, I'll just read enough, the ending for you. Enough, the purpose of the Commission is to do what has not been done before, to document the actual totality of missing children each year. Preliminary estimates yet to be documented are 8 million a year, or 22,000 children a day, and also to document what happens to these children once they are ingested into the local or global pedo-predation network of networks. The average lifespan of a child once in the pedo predation pedophilia uh, system is estimated by some to be only two years. Those being groomed for leadership roles that perpetuate pedosexuality at all levels live much longer. Kindly support my Patreon account since that's the only way I can continue what you like seeing on this channel. Thank you, you'll find it in the description box below.